Overall or edge-to-edge -edge designs are one of the mainstay in quilting. I'd like to show you how to set up an overall design in the edge-to-edge -edge mode of Statler Creative Studio. I'm going to show you how to set up a overall design in edge to edge. The first thing I've done is I've brought in a pattern and this pattern is an overall design fly fishing by Anne Bright. My quilt is loaded and I have stitched down the sides stabilizing everything. I'm going to go into the edge to edge icon and click on it. A screen comes up and if I follow the prompts, I'll be setting up my edge to edge. I'm going to take my machine head and I'm going to click on the upper left hand corner of my quilt. As soon as I do that, Statler is giving me a new prompt. I'm going to click on the upper right hand corner of my quilt. The lower right hand corner is as far down to the belly bar along the edge of that quilt as my machine head will go. Now I'm moving to the lower left hand corner. Now notice what happens when I click OK from my keypad. Statler has finished that boundary for me and has given me the outline of my available space to sew. Now I'm going to go into the edge to edge setup screen. I need to put in my length. By clicking out the boundaries, Statler knows how wide my quilt is and I need to put that length in. Now I've turned my quilt sideways so I am actually quilting the longer edge from right to left here. So I'm going to look at my quilting invoice and it tells me that my quilt is 63 and a half by 80 and a half. I already know I have laid this out the long way. So I'm going to delete that zero and put in a length of 60 I'm going up half an inch. That won't be a problem. As soon as I hit enter on my keyboard, Statler is going to figure out the layout for my quilt. Now you'll notice that when I first got in here, my pattern width was 8 inches. Statler has automatically refigured the height and width of each individual segment to make the numbers fit for my quilt. Now I've got two rows here that can quilt in my first pass. That is what's going to fit on my quilt. I'm going to go ahead and hit the quilt button to sew out this area. Statler has stitched to the end of the first row and has asked me to pull up that bobbin thread. Once I do that, I can then click OK and Statler's going to move the machine head down to take a stitch at the beginning of my second row. Then Statler will stitch this row. Two rows fit within my available sewing space based on the size of the pattern that I used. I'm going to pull up my bobbin once again and click OK so Statler can sew this second row. Statler is now finished quilting all the way to my second row and has asked me to pull up that bobbin thread and click OK. So I'm going to click OK. Now Statler wants to help me set up a registration point and this is a point at which once I advance my quilt I'll be able to realign the patterns on the screen with where I have moved my quilt. So I'm going to say OK. Statler's going to move the machine head down to a point on the lower right hand side of my quilt that is parallel with the lowest stitching line and I'm going to place a pin at that point on my quilt. I have marked 
that point on the left hand side of my quilt I'm going to say OK. Once I've placed that pin on my quilt I can click OK and then my machine head is going to move and it's going to give me a left registration point. The machine head moves to the lowest point of the stitching but aligning it on the left hand side of my quilt and at this point I'm going to place a pin in that now I'm free to unhook my clamps on the side. When I advance my quilt I want to make sure that I allow enough room to be able to hit those registration points with my machine head. Also enough room to allow for any nesting of pattern that may take place at the same time. Now I'm ready to continue my quilting. So I'm going to be clicking on this scroll that tells Statler I'm ready to proceed. If I follow the prompts, I'm going to click on the left registration mark and then I'll move my machine head until I'm over that right mark and I'll click again. Now Statler has advanced my quilt on the screen and has given me a new row to stitch. The red patterns are patterns that have already stitched. The black is what is available to stitch and the blue is a pattern that doesn't fully fit within my available quilting space. Now to go ahead and quilt my next rows, all I need to do is to hit the quilt button.